Hey, John, I think we can all say that we were pretty hot watching <laughs> the game today. How did you feel there on the mound, especially with the dehydration issues that you, you've had in the past? Uh, yeah, I mean, I felt fine. Um, I mean, I'm in the same place as everybody else out there. So you just got to figure out a way to get through it. Um, you know, got got some liquids before the game. So I, I felt felt good with all that. Um, yeah, like I said, I mean, it's it's something that everybody has to deal with. It's, you know, I'm not the only one out there that's dealing with it. So it is what it is. You just kind of have to make the best of it. The Nationals tweeted out that this was actually the second warmest temperature at first pitch in your entire career. Do you just, I know you said everybody has to deal with it, but how were you able just to block that out? Because I know we're sitting here and it's hard to block it out ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's it. I mean, it's it's not like, you know, you can use it as an excuse. I mean, there's there's 18 other guys that are playing in it and, and there are 17 other guys that are playing it and have to deal with it and have to execute pitches and, and have good at bats and, and do all that stuff. So it's not like I'm out there by myself, you know, trying to do this. So, um, you know, you can't control the weather. It is what it is. And you just have to kind of, kind of deal with it as, as you go along. One of the guys out there with you was Trey Turner. What did you think about him today in the cycle? Uh, that was pretty cool. That I think, I think that's the first cycle I've seen for my home team. Um, I've seen another one on the opposing team. So that, that was cool to see on, on our side for the good guys for a change. Um, I, I really thought it was that it was weird that he's, you know, tied for the MLB lead with three. I figured there would have been, you know, some old school player that, that had like 10 of them or something back in the day, but, uh, that's pretty cool. It's awesome for him. Um, like I said, I mean, it's the second one I've seen, so it's, it's pretty cool to be a part of. Thank you. Hey, yo, uh, according to the stat cast, uh, your, fastball, your fastball hit 92.5 uh, miles per hour today, the hardest uh, you've thrown all year. You are coming off uh, your shortest outing of the years against Miami. Uh, did the extra time off uh, help you in velocity today? Uh, well, I'm just going to round that up to 93. I don't know about how y'all feel about that, but, um, I'm going to take the 93, not the 92.5. Uh, no, I mean, I felt good. I felt good physically. I, I, I talked, I talked the other day about it. I talked the other day with the trainers about it. I just, it's frustrating that it seems like I have kind of like a physically good start and then kind of take a step back as far as what we're trying to work on and what we're trying to improve as far as how my body moves and stuff like that. Um, not necessarily the outcome on the field, but just how, how everything's moving. And, and today felt like everything was moving in the right direction, obviously, um, with, with the velo and, and that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, hopefully I, you know, I, I keep saying, it, I like I sound like a broken record, but hopefully can build off of that. And, and then hopefully that'll translate into, fewer pitches and more innings is kind of the ultimate goal. Um, you know, so I, I'm not, I don't care if I throw 85 as long as I'm getting, you know, into the sixth, seventh, eighth inning. I, I feel like uh, the games that I do have good below and, and whatnot, it's, it's, I'm still in the same position. So, um, you know, hopefully we can figure that out and get deeper into some games. Thank you. Congratulations for the win with 195. Thank you. Hey, John, after a couple of starts ago when you, you go into the seventh, and I know you're real pleased with that, then the last one, uh, you know, you kind of talked about being upset, not being able to go deeper in the game. Just at this point in the season, where do you kind of feel like you are? Uh, where do you feel like there's still another place for you to get to where you want to be this season? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I feel like, I mean, I don't, I can't use the building thing as, as an excuse anymore. Um, I feel like I'm in a good place. I, I, I don't, I don't, it's frustrating that, um, you know, I keep putting myself in a bad account, a bad counts, um, falling behind guys, you know, and, and, you know, grinding when there really shouldn't be grinding. Like, I, I feel like I should, I should be able to attack a little bit more. Um, and I'm not doing it for whatever reason, you know, if I had that answer, I'd be able to tell you, but just, 
falling behind guys. I mean, that, that you're one Oh two Oh, you know, you're fighting back and, and you gotta, you gotta get back onto the plate. And when you do that, you start giving up hits, regardless of what the hits are, um, you're giving up hits. And, and I would much rather do that in the first pitch two first two pitches, then throw that third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then it seems like seven, eight, nine pitches later. Now we're walking a guy, you know, and, and I've wasted however many pitches. Like it pitches, if you, if I give up a hit in the first pitch and move on, that's fine. They're beating me with that. That's fine. I can tip my hat all day to that. But when I'm continually grinding into at bats and you end up kind of finding yourself in a spot where you don't know where to go, that's where it gets really frustrating for me. Um, you know, the scouting report is it's not going to help you when they've seen six, seven, eight, nine pitches. You know, that, that, that's it's null and void then. Now it's just about blind luck and hopefully they hit it at somebody. And I feel like I've, I've put myself in those those positions uh, too, too often this year. Hey, John, um, I, I know you're you're not a hitter, um, but, you know, you've, you've been on the team now for for a while. Um, what have you noticed just about what Trey like gives to this team and what he means to that lineup? Obviously, I mean, Trey's a big part of our lineup. I mean, facing him for so long on the other side. I mean, he's definitely a guy that, you know, you want to keep off base. You'd almost rather him hit a solo homer and, and kind of move on because when he gets on base, he wrecks havoc. You know, obviously you guys have seen it for however long. Um, speed changes the game. I mean, 100% speed is, is a game changer. Uh, and you, get, you guys get a front row seat to that every night with him. Um, I mean, he just outruns the baseball, which is hard to do. There's not many guys in this game that can do that. Um, and then to be able to hit for power as well. I mean, that's that's a crazy combo. I mean, most of the time when a guy is a runner, he's, you know, gap to gap, you know, base hit type guy. But to be able to hit for power like he does, um, it, it, like I said, I mean, it, it, there's no other way to describe it. It's a game changer. And were you still in the dugout? When he hit that triple? No, I was upstairs. Oh, 